Okay, so we're asked to expand and simplify, and it looks quite complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two grids. I'm going to do one for the first one and one for the second one. And grids aren't the only way you can do this, and if you've got a better method or a different method that's better for you, then stick with it as long as you get the right answer. So the first bracket is 8 times 10x plus 4. And the next one is minus 5, and that is so important that there's a minus there, times 8x minus 4. Okay, let's fill these in. So 8 times 10x is 80x. 8 times 4 is 32. And those are all positive. Okay, minus 5 times 8x. So minus 5 times 8, well, it's a negative times a positive, so it's going to be a negative. 5 times 8 is 40. And then we've got the x there. Now, a minus times a minus is a positive, so it's positive 20, and this is the one where most students go wrong, so make sure that your answer here is correct. So if there's two negatives, it's going to give you a positive. Now, if we put these all together, so I'm just going to write these out all together, so it's just all my answers inside the boxes. Perfect. Now, there are two x terms that we can add together and there's two number terms that we can add together. So I'm going to add the x terms, so it's 80x minus 40x, so that's going to be 40x and it's going to be 32 plus 20 which is going to be 52. So my answer is going to be 40x plus 52.